It is Saturday, the 5th of October, 11.07, and it's a little bit late for doing a Vlogtober video, but I promised myself I would film every day, and I've not necessarily got the videos up every single day on the right day. However, I am recording them, so... Yeah! By the way, I haven't cut my hair. I've just put, like, half of it in a bun, so it looks really short, because these are, like, the shorter layers. So that's why my hair looks really, really weird. On Facebook, I decided to do a questions and answers video because everybody always requests Q&A videos and I always feel like a complete and utter like idiot doing Q&A videos because it's like, who would want to ask me questions? About what? But I like my Q&As because they're always full of really weird questions. Like, for example, I can see already unicorn or cyclops. I love you guys. Unicorn or Cyclops? Obviously unicorns. It has to be unicorns because unicorns are magical. And I hate horses, but I love unicorns. I hope I haven't offended anyone that likes horses there. So, I'm probably going to mess with my hair throughout this video because I feel like just messing with my hair and I can't decide how I want to wear it. Even though it's like 11 o'clock at night, but I'm just wide awake even though my body's tired. So, let's answer some questions. Shannon Dyer asks, do you like Evanescence and what's your favorite song by them? Um, if people were to ask me like, what bands I liked, I wouldn't list Evanescence, but I can appreciate Amy Lee's talent. And I remember having to sing My Immortal for a singing exam and becoming quite attached to that song. And every time I hear it, it's like, ah. And then I remember being really young and hearing that um, Wake Me Up Inside song. Um, I can't remember, but I remember hearing that when I was a kid. Did that answer the question? I don't think it did. I'm just picking it random, by the way, and I'm trying to keep it at a precise time, so I'm not talking for too long, but I get through as many questions as possible, kind of. I'm, I am tired a little bit. I'm a little bit loopy. I'm a little bit loopy right now. Millie Reddy asked, how many colours has your hair been? My hair has been every single colour, proudly, apart from blue. Blue is the only hair colour I haven't had, like, which is really strange, so I should probably dye my hair blue, but I kind of keep avoiding it, because I don't feel like I would suit blue hair, because my eyes can look really, like, light, but sometimes they can look really dark, and I don't know, I've always thought light eyes, light, light blue hair, kind of, looks beautiful. Does that make any sense? Rosie Price asked, what are... Oh, they said, what are favourite hair dye brands and why? What are your favourite hair dye brands and why? Special effects is my favourite hair dye. Yeah. See, Mandy Foster asked, what is your weirdest habit? I don't know what my weirdest habit is. I'm going to go ask Niall. Niall, what's my weirdest habit? Technology. I got an answer. Technology. Let's close that door. He said, check in my phone all of the time, then changed his mind and said, I was obsessed with technology. And then he said something about me being addicted to taking pictures. I always see those as weird habits, but I do suppose I take pictures of everything. Like, I am addicted to taking pictures of things, but the problem isn't as bad as it used to be. Like, I used to take pictures, like, like the camera was attached to my arm. I would take it everywhere and take pictures of every single detail, like, every single detail around me. But then I started to overflood my computer with pointless pictures. So now I kind of like, a lot of my Instagram pictures I'll just delete because I'm not going to put them in the photo album, am I? Like when I'm 85 years old and be like, oh, what did I eat on Thursday the 15th of July 2008 or something ridiculous? Oh, there's a picture in my photo album of Instagram food that I've eaten throughout my whole life. I suppose my weirdest habit is probably rambling. Reese through Reese Darling said, what colour do you think you will dye your hair next? P.S. Love you so much, Jess. Aww. I don't know, because at the moment I seem to be going through a phase where if I've got the hair dye in my house, that's what hair colour my hair is because it's convenient. But at the same time, I just find myself like saving tabs on my computer of loads of different coloured hair dye. And it's like one minute I'm like, I want to have bright yellow hair again for some reason I have the urge inside me. But then the next minute I'm like, why not just add like a few colours to the pink hair and make kind of rainbow hair and then like just lighten it up or darken it to brown and have like my tips or something, I don't know. I'm very indecisive at the moment, but there's a little voice in my head saying, you've not been blue yet, at least involve me in your hair once, at least. Closest to blue I've been is purple, with a bit more of a blue, 
to it, but that's literally it. Oh no, go away, oh no, no. Enter dramatic music. I'm in a bathroom, so this is convenient. Oh no, I'm going to dye my hair. Oh no, I have hair clips stuck. I forgot the, that my hair was pinned back. Look how mad that looks. Do you remember that, that song? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I'm gonna go see if anyone remembers that. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And ladies and gents, that is how you fix your hair halfway through a video. I don't know, I felt like changing it up a bit. I got bored, I get bored easily. Laura Zollinger. When will you come to Brazil? See me? Question mark. Ha 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 ha. Heart. I don't know. I don't know when the next time is I'm going to Brazil, you know, like, it could be a couple of days, a couple of weeks, you know, a couple of months, years, ten years, never, I'm not quite sure. I don't know, I've never been to Brazil. Should I just start swimming and hope for the best? Becca Andrews asked, if you could be anyone living or dead for a whole week, who would you want to be and why? This is a difficult one, there's so many people that I would love to be, like Bon Scott from ACDC, you know, before he like choked on his own vomit and everything. But at the same time, living or dead, oh god, so many people I'd love to be, like, can I just be like Billy Joe Armstrong or Shirley Manson from Garbage? Or like Kirk Bain or Courtney Love. Can I be Kirk Bain for like half a week, then Courtney Love for the other half of the week to actually like understand the full story? I could be one of the only people that actually knows what truly happened. Really hope that doesn't start a load of controversy in the comments because I'm a big Nirvana fan. People shit on me all the time because I actually like Courtney Love too. Didn't even answer that question. I'll just be everyone. I'll be all of you for a day. Like at the same time. Just to fuck things up a bit. Adam Picton. Picton, Picton, Picton. Does this freak you out, Picton? Picton, Picton. I know Picton in real life. I always said that I would do that to him in a video and creep him out. Hopefully, I was successful and I achieved my goal. He asked, "Which is worse, when a good friend moves away or losing touch with a good friend who lives right near you? Usually, do you listen to your heart or to your brain?" They're both equally as terrible, and I think they're both equally as terrible because, like. Either way, you're kind of losing a good friend. It's hard to say in life because you can just lose someone that used to be really, really important to you, but like sometimes that opens up a different pathway or sometimes it kind of makes you realise like they weren't as good of a friend as they could have been or that, you know, that you just so happen to have lost translation because life is so busy and each and every single one of us has crap going on and you know, it can be really difficult to like go and do the things that you want to do because your life is just so demanding as it is and you can't find any time. But yeah, I don't know. So I can't really pick out of those two. And the other one, usually do you listen to your heart or to your brain? Are we talking about past Jess, future Jess, right Jess or left Jess? Because all four are different people. I'd say, I think more with my brain now, than I used to. I used to really listen to my heart all the time and sometimes I really struggle not to incorporate both but I feel like the best thing to do is incorporate both your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, everything is the best way to actually sustain a healthy well-being, you know, to actually sustain a healthy mindset and positive outlook in life. You need to reach that point of comfortableness within yourself to understand how you operate and how to like you know, switch on certain light switches or whatever, yada yada, and like, you can just mentally train yourself. But in order to mentally train yourself, you need to have gone through experiences of listening to your heart and fucking up, and listening to your brain and fucking up. So, I'd say that it's best to try and think with both, but I'd say that I'm a sucker and normally I follow my heart, but I try to be as mindful as possible and to try and approach things the correct way, but I'm a human being with feelings, so sometimes my heart just gets in the way. Raquel Collins asked, how is your day? Random, but just thought I'd ask. That's really, really, really sweet of you to ask. My day's been okay, it's been a bit tiring, lots of chores and things like that to do. I'm just generally knackered and trying to keep up to date with my videos and my editing and everything, so it's quite like stressful. But health-wise, I'm having an all right kind of day, just quite tired. 
feeling very, very tired, but wide awake in my brain. But thank you for asking. Oh! Hi, Kira. Ah, the Scarlet of the Saints asked, when are we meeting up, going on mini break, hanging out, making babies? We're gonna do all four of those things, baby. Just name a place in town and I'm there. Oh, seven. In all seriousness, though, when? Facebook me or something, girl? Damn. Dan Johnson asked, you went to school for visual arts, right? What made you decide on that as your major? I only did visual arts itself, but there's loads of different sectors because it was an art course. You could choose to do, like focus on sculpture, video art, sound art, like painting, whatever your medium was and apply that however you wanted to as long as you went to the lectures and things and yada yada. The reason I picked visual arts to do at university was because I wanted a little bit of everything because I've done two years in music in college and then I did a year in art and then that's when I fell in love with the idea of like video art and you know combining music that I've made like a sound and then having the picturesque view at the same time so not only painting a picture inside your head but on the outside as well and I kind of found ways to apply that to my medium because I'm very interested in like psychology and things like that as well as like my music and my art and things like that as well. The reason I picked visual arts was because it wasn't fine art, like I could do whatever I wanted to, however I wanted to and I could incorporate like my knowledge of like say for example psychology and music and things that I'd actually like focused on back in college and school, I could just apply that however I wanted to. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense and answers your question. Vanessa Flaws, I hope your name is correct, or oh, I'm probably wrong, but I hope I'm not. Would you be dressing up for Halloween this year? If yes, would you do a tutorial? Hopefully and hopefully, it all just depends how things go, doesn't it? I dress up every single year without fail, but I don't know if I'll be able to do a tutorial or not. Um, but I will see what I can do. I'll see what I'm doing. But then again, look, it's October. It's October. I have to vlog on Halloween. No getting out of that, is there? So either way, you're going to see what I dress up as or what the conclusion is. Ellie Lovato Tima asked, do you like Hen Helen Helena Bonham Carter? Hope you're having a good day, by the way. Thank you. And I suppose I've never met her, so I wouldn't really know. <laughs> She's all right. Helen Bonham Carter. She's all right. Nikki Kurarana, can't say your name. Asked, do you know where Malta is? Yes, I do know where Malta is. Ash Celia asked, what hair dye do you use for your epic hair? Mermaid semen. Masara Kalaf, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, asked, what is your favourite flavour of ice cream? Easy, it's cookie dough ice cream. And it's not the Ben & Jerry's one, surprisingly. It's the one from, what's it called, in Texas. And it's the best, best thing ever. Bluebell, bluebell ice cream, bluebell ice cream, cookie dough, flavor, oh, so good. That was the first time I'd ever had cookie dough ice cream. Anyways, I'll answer two more questions because I've been chatting on for so long, so, so long. Sydney Foster asked, how long do you plan to have your crazy hair? I think you should rock it until you're 40. Rock it, Jess. Yeah, yeah. If I still want to rock hair when I'm that age, I will. But I, I've been having urges to dye my hair back to brown for quite some time now. I've not done experimenting yet, so... I don't know, until whenever I feel like it, or I might have to, or whatever, we don't know what life's gonna bring, I might have to dye my hair brown, even though I have brunette wig, which is really, really realistic, it's like my natural hair colour down to a T. Iwami Catherine Paulette asked, how old are you and where do you live? Well that's a little bit stalkish, isn't it? I'm 12 and I'm from West Yorkshire. A 12 year old, I wear quite a bit of makeup though, I'm 22, 22 years old now. Where do I live? Earth. It's beautiful here. No, just kidding. I'm from Manchester. Kill me or stop me. Bye.